Welcome to Easy Engineering. We're going to continue on the topic of the vortex tube and today show you how a vortex tube is normally used in an industrial environment. If you recall from a previous session, the cooling rate is best, uh, is most optimum uh, when about 60 to 80 percent of the cold air is coming out the cold side. If you're using it to produce cold temperatures, however, if you require to have a very cold temperature like minus 20 or minus 30 or minus 40 degrees Celsius, then you will have much lower flow, but um, you'll be able to get the cold temperatures that you want. Most of the applications will involve temperatures only around zero to plus five degrees Celsius. Okay, so using a vortex tube. I have in my hand a medium size. That's one of the standard sizes that are on the market. Uh, the other standard sizes are a smaller one and a much larger one. If you're going to be utilizing a vortex tube in open air, which means like this, or maybe with a hose on the end of it, blowing onto a surface that's in an open area, a medium-sized vortex tube will cool about five square centimeters. The smaller sizes will cool about three square centimeters, and the larger sizes about seven square centimeters. So if you have a very big area, you may have to have multiple vortex tubes to cool it properly. Or use an alternative, alternative method of cooling, uh, some which will be discussed later on in another easy engineering uh, video. A lot of applications for vortex tubes, however, are cooling enclosures. Examples of enclosures are environmental chambers. Uh, uh, in environmental chambers, quite often they want the cold temperature, so you'll be using a vortex tube at a much lower uh, flow, uh, flow rate to give you the cold temperature. Uh, for electronic control panel cooling, we have special versions that are on the market uh, with built-in venting that are approved uh, for electrical control panels that you can mount um, for cooling anything um, like that. Anyway, if I put the vortex tube mounted on top of an enclosure, you want to put it on the top because cold air falls and hot air rises. If you mount it on the, uh, near the body, you're going cold air in at the bottom, but you're going to stratify a lot of the hot air at the top. So you want to mount a vortex tube either at the top or at least near the top if, you, if there's no room at the top to cool a particular enclosure. You've got to have a vent either built into a vortex tube system or a separate vent uh, breather cap that's mounted again at the top or, or on the side near the top of an enclosure to let the hot air that's being displaced out. A very big enclosure could take a long time to cool unless you distribute that cold air more, effect, uh, more effectively. The best way is just have a hose at the end of the vortex tube on the inside with holes poked in it, uh, spreading that cold air um, throughout the enclosure a lot faster. And that is how you use a vortex tube in an application. On Easy Engineering 4, we'll move on to a different product.